Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in Wellington. He apparently wants to sit with me. Come on, Alex. Come here. So I got Wellington and oh, he's on to me. He knows I'm going to scoop him up. And Alex, and today guys is the 3rd of February and today is gotcha day for Alex. It's a, it's a bittersweet day. Today is the third anniversary of my mom's passing. And it's Alex's second um, gotcha day. I picked, uh, my mom passed away on February 3rd in 2017. And I adopted Alex on February 3rd of 2018. So he is about five years old now. And Wellington is about 13. Hi. Did you want to come up? All right. I will hold you. Wellington is wanting to be held tonight. He's now, you know, here to sit down. Or not. I don't know what he wants. All right, I have a dollar. Oh, he wants to lay on my lap. <laughs> I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Nothing too spectacular. You need to see this. He thinks he's going to sit here while I talk to you. <laughs> uh. Sorry if that was too fast and I made you a little nauseous. All right, come on, buddy. We'll, we'll play later. Oh, and my tea is in my Don't Stress Me Out mug, and it's Tension Tamer. I really am enjoying this. It's part of the Celestial Seasonings. It was right on the shelf next to um, Sleepy Time Tea, but this is Tension Tamer, and it has more peppermint in it. Mmm, it's delicious. Now... One other thing I have to mention, I'm not doing embroidery. I'm learning needlepoint. No, lies. I'm not doing needlepoint or embroidery. I'm doing counted cross stitch. That's what I'm doing. And every week, I think during my Monday vlog, I will update you on how far I've gotten. All right, so let's look at what I bought at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, there's not a whole bunch of stuff in here, but some fun things. Hi, baby. Um, I grabbed a hole punch because I need one. We'll see how it works on cardstock. Um, for my needlepoint, I needed something to hold my threads that I, so I'm using DMC floss and it's six stranded, but this calls for two stranded knit or two stranded stitching. So I need something to hold after I've cut. I needed a hole puncher, so I bought one. How about that? <laughs> um, for St. Patrick's Day, I didn't, they don't have the wooden, or mine does not have the wooden buddy the wooden clovers or anything so for my mantle I'm gonna use these I figure that's fine and these are foam shamrocks and I will probably like see if there's a darker green and a lighter green and there are swell so I'm gonna maybe glue them and do a double shamrock just for St. Patrick's all right buddy St. Patrick's Day on my mantle I picked up a six pack of these mini round bowls. They're really sturdy and they're a little more sturdy than the plastic cups I was using for painting um, to pour my paint in. I feel like these are enough stir sturdy enough that I, ow, sir, those claws of yours need to be trimmed. Ow, sorry guys. There, lay down or go lay down in your bed. You got some bed, go lay in it. Anyway, these are pretty sturdy plastic they're dessert cups is what they are um but I think I'll be able to wash them and reuse them instead of throwing them away like I used, was doing with the styrofoam hi Alex these cats are crazy tonight this one over here is on his back staring at me who knows what is wrong with them um and then I found please look at this color of navy blue guys in this basket is this not everything so now that I'm doing this cross stitching thing in my chair, I need something to catch all the accoutrements. My stuff needs to go in here. I like things organized. And if I want to take it from one room to the other, I can do that. I have a bag and I'll, I'll, what I'll do in the vlog is I'll show you all my things that go with this cross stitching thing that I'm doing now. But I need something to put it all in that's tidy by my chair. So I grabbed this blue one because I like the navy blue. There was actually a different basket. I saw Crafty Girl 
And it's the same color, same style, but it's a higher, like, carry basket. And I really want that because I think that would hold everything much better. Um, okay, look at this. This is Peyton. Um, Patton's Yarn is a brand. Like, I get it at Joanne. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is called Moon Rock. And it is 49% wool, which is what I like about Patton, is actual wool content to it. It's I think this is cobbles, is the style of yarn. It's like a craft or a artistic yarn, but I'm gonna use it in my gnomes for like the girls to do the braided hair because I think it's a fun color and it has some texture to it. And this is a lot. This is um it's super bulky in here and it's 100 grams that's like 40 yards so that's perfect to do some gnome hair and it's one dollar so that's perfect because that is not one dollar as joanne um i was talking about these the other day that works so well and so i grabbed another pair um a sometimes i can't find the pair we're using it depends where i let's be honest wherever they're sleeping is where I clip their nails. So wherever I jump them to get their nails done is probably where I've left the clippers, but I wanted a second pair. So I grabbed these and I'll actually put these in my room on my, he just knocked Tom Brady over. No, you just hurt Tom Brady. He don't hurt Tom Brady. I'll put it in my room. Cause that's typically where I go about their nails. Um, for Sarah, my niece, somebody, I always get that question, who's Sarah? She's my niece. I got her some of these Russell Stover itty bitty hearts for Valentine's Day. Her birthday and Valentine's Day are pretty much like almost the same day with a couple days apart. So I'm getting her a gift card for her birthday. Don't watch Sarah, but I like to get her some candy and she likes these caramel hearts. So I got her some of those. Um, and these will just go as a little gifty gift and then I'll put her gift card in with that. So those are for Sarah and my girl. And then the rest of this stuff is for work. Um, I think. Is it all for work? It might all be for work. Yes. No. Lies. Okay. Um, I was talking the other day. Debbie. I'm so distracted by these animals of mine. Hi, baby. Um... I was talking about like Easter basket things that I've been finding the cutest stuff for Easter baskets for boys and girls, but I found some more blind bags. This one is Jurassic World mini action dino for a little boy's Easter basket. Like how fun would these be? And then boy or girl, honestly, we all like the, um, Jurassic World. And then they have Barbie. Uh, these are career Barbies and... They have all different ones you can collect. There's eight different ones. And I thought, how cute would these be? Hey, this would be a perfect, and I, excuse me, sir, that is Tom Brady. What are you doing? He's attacking Tom Brady behind me. You'll leave Tom Brady alone, sir. This I have actually gifted many times as, for like a teenage girl, boy, um, I, their Easter basket and I filled it with stuff but it's so reusable for nightstands for makeup for art supplies excuse me sir that is not polite what is he doing why is he doing that to Tom Brady he knocked little Tom Brady's head off okay guys this is I'm sorry I'm so distracted my little Tom Brady that's not nice and now he's going after Zeke Elliott anyway um, if you've got like a teenager or someone in your life that could use some storage, these make great Easter baskets. And for the young ones, these make great fillers for Easter baskets too. I just think that right now, I don't know what's happening at my Dollar Tree, but they've got all the things. So I'll use, hide that. And I'm hiding little Tom Brady. I don't know what he has against my little Tom Brady. Now... I will put a video about out of what I'm putting in my co-workers little Valentine bags that I'm doing for them, but I can show you as well what they had at my store. Um, and I kind of dropped the ball on this. I should have picked things up earlier, but I wanted um, packages that is, everything is individually wrapped and there was more than like one or two things. So this is Cichlids. 
These are just little, um, I will show you if you've never seen a cichlid. These make great decorations too, if you're making cupcakes or candies or um, cookies. Let's see, they come, here you go. They're just little candy, chocolate or hard candy coated chocolates, like M&Ms, but they're balls. And these are the Valentine colors. And these are fun. And like I said, at Christmas time, I opened up a bunch and we decorated our gingerbread houses. They would be good on cupcakes. They're just fun and they're big. So I grabbed a couple bags of those. And then I grabbed some Tiger Pops. And these are um, cherry or strawberry and cream flavored. And they're the swirled lollipops. So I'm gonna stick one of those in the bag. Um, I did grab two of the cichlids. And then I grabbed this, which is 20 pack. So if you've got young ones that you need to bring candy to school, sorry about the crinkling, guys. The individually wrapped stuff is the way to go. I know a lot of schools don't even let you bring baked goods anymore. But look at these. They're just adorable little bags of candy hearts. And they're just like a hard, like a runts almost. A candy and they even have a little to and from I won't fill that out but they are 20 in here as well and I just think these are stinking adorable so my goal or the plan is I have the plastic hearts I'm gonna fill with some candy and then I have a big bag to put everything in and then I also picked up moon pies these are great I got the vanilla and the chocolate so I'll just mix them up one First one we'll get a vanilla, one we'll get a chocolate. I'll show you how these are packaged. One year I did um, the little white bags in the wedding section. I did, made a bunch of those. And then I wrote on the front, on the heart, I'm over the moon for you. Get it? Moon pies, I'm over the moon. And everybody got one on their desk. And this is, these are mini. Sorry, Alex. These are mini. So they're not big at all. They're just adorable. Let's see what the white ones look like because I've really never seen the white ones before. Um, but I just think they're fun and they're name brand. Oh, cute. So you either get one with white chocolate or one with brown milk chocolate and they will get a moon pie, a lollipop, some... Um, of these little hearts and then I have some like Hershey's chocolate I'll do a quick video of how I put the bags together and how I do the packaging and that is everything for tonight um Debbie you're gonna say bye Debbie you gonna say bye and Alex took off he doesn't like my noises <laughs> oh here's Alex come here he's like was that food come here buddy you want to say goodbye well come here he hears food, he thinks. Come here. He's my little chunker. I know. Come here, you. There you go. Oh, I got you. This cat is heavy. He needs to go on a diet, but I love him so much. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. I'm waiting for my store to get some balance. No. Easter stuff in and then I will have some more DIYs to show you although this week I have two coming up that I am super excited about and then I will do a quick video on how I put together the Valentine treats that could be used for work it could be used for neighbors it could be used for your children for school just depends on what you need if you need you can do it for your kids it's just fun and I think my co-workers will enjoy having a little treat for Valentine's Day all right, everybody. Well, I will talk to you later. Bye.